Now it's important to note again, the city ordinance on camping has not been updated since 2018. The current ordinance prohibits camping on city owned public property when there isn't enough shelter space. Now city council recently did announce an updated ordinance proposal today. The mayor said she wanted to take it even further. So Crem 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now in the studio to explain how the two sides compare. Well, under Spokane's current illegal camping ordinance, camping is not allowed on public property and a person cannot sit or lie on the sidewalk between the time of 6 a.m. and midnight. But the ordinance is also not enforced if there is no shelter space available. So let's take a look at how the City Council and Mayor Nadine Woodward's proposals seek to change these elements. Both proposals do actually share some similarities. They both call for removing the blanket exception for when shelter space is unavailable and allows for enforcement at all times in some specified locations. Now, City Council and the mayor's proposals would also enforce the ordinance at the following areas within 100 feet of railroad viaducts, 35 feet from the river and on all city parks and city owned property. But Mayor Nadine Woodward's proposal goes a step further. It expands enforcement within a half mile of city supported congregate shelters and within the boundaries of the business improvement district and downtown police precinct. So let's take a look at that. This is the business improvement district boundary map. Under the mayor's proposal, camping would be illegal in all the colored zones on this map. It's it stretches from Cataldo Avenue up north to the railroad tracks in the south near First Avenue and from Walnut to North Division. Now let's take a look. The downtown police precinct has a bit wider footprint. Now camping would be illegal in the orange colored area. It stretches from the north bank of Riverfront Park to I-90, then from Sherman out to near Inland Empire Highway. Now to be clear, the mayor's version covers a much broader area of where camping would not be allowed in the city, whereas council's proposal is specific to those certain areas. Both proposals will be discussed on Monday, July 11th in the Public Safety Committee meeting. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.